box garden is a lovely way to showcase your green thumb and practice the popular raised bed garden style. Whether you're looking at small containers for a balcony or porch or considering large raised garden boxes for your yard, there are many ways to plant them. Before we proceed, please click the like button and subscribe for more garden inspiration. Number one, create a beautiful box garden with bulbs. Do you have an antique crate hanging around? Consider filling it with spring bulbs. You can even force your bulbs indoors and have spring flowers in a beautiful container any time of the year. Consider topping off your soil with a lovely layer of sphagnum moss for finishing. Number two, a tiny crate with tiny succulents. Have a small wooden crate that's begging for plants? Consider planting a handful of tiny succulents. Mix them up so you have varying shades of color in those lovely gray-green tones. Number three, raise your beds to window height. This raised bed is a different take on a window box. It cleverly raises the height of the garden beds to the height of this window, allowing those trapped inside to see a bright sprig of green on the boxwood outdoors. Number four, fill a box garden with impatience. A harbinger of spring and summer, lovely impatience are an easy plant to grow in your box garden. Keep in some shade, water regularly, and prune back dead flowers, and these hardy little plants will provide bright blooms for many days. Number five, fill a ladder box with blooms. A multi-tiered box planter is a gorgeous way to bring colors to your front porch. Plant with annuals, herbs, really any combination of blooms and colors you wish. Number six, a stair-stepped box garden with a retaining wall. A sloped yard calls for smart thinking and this garden of tiered raised beds is a great solution. Raised beds step down the yard, giving an otherwise difficult planting space new life for vegetables, herbs, and flowers. Number seven, turn your backyard into a raised bed vegetable garden. Raised bed vegetable gardens may take some initial work, but once in place, you've got a lovely environment for growing things with few weeds and a way to protect your garden from mischievous bunnies. Number eight, the right height raised bed garden. If you are an older gardener, you might consider raising your vegetable beds a few more inches. This way, you won't have to bend over as much. You could even work from a motorized chair if the paths between the beds are wide enough. Number nine, raised bed seedling gardens. You can create a raised bed nursery for your younger plants. The grid of raised bed boxes is excellent for starting seeds and giving your plants a lovely start before moving them to their mature garden spot. Number 10, a corner of the yard for your box garden. Just because you have a multi-purpose yard with active outdoor activities doesn't mean you can't have your vegetables too. Tuck your gorgeous box garden against the fence wall and out of the way of the slip and slide. Number 11, woven box garden raised beds. Want to take your raised bed boxes to the next level? Incorporate basket weaving techniques into your fence building. People will be torn between looking at your luscious plants and their containment system. Number 12, portable box gardens. If you need more flexibility in the placement and height of your box gardens, consider keeping some handy squares available. As plants grow, you can quickly build up the wall height to keep pests out. Number 13, an old filing drawer full of succulents. Have a unique antique with no other purpose? Consider giving it a new life as a box garden. Here, an old filing drawer is given new life as a succulent garden. Number 14, table leg raised box gardens in bright colors. Raise your gardens to table height and the days of bending over to care for your plants are gone. Paint them in lush, bright colors and everyone will smile. Number 15, use the box for your garden's helping hand. Maybe you love the box, but not for planting. Consider taking an old crate and flipping it up to add some character and height to a concrete planter. Number 16, a box garden full of herbs. A deck box garden is a perfect place to plant your favorite culinary herbs. Slip out of your kitchen or dining room door to snip off what you need for supper. There's nothing that says love like food from the garden. Number 17, a creche as a box garden. No rule says all box gardens must be square or rectangle shaped. These lovely creche inspired gardens will soon be tumbling over with squash. 
The perfect easy DIY raised garden. Number 18, box garden strawberries. You can intersperse raised box gardens in between your regular beds for an interesting mix of regular bed and raised bed gardening. Here, a sweet patch of strawberries is raised above the surrounding vegetables. Number 19, bring a box garden as your hostess gift. Fill a decorative box with a few of your favorite plants and bring it to the next party you're invited to. It's a perfect hostess gift for outdoors or in. Number 20, side holes and box garden for cascading plants. If you add a few side holes into your raised box garden, you can have plants that will beautifully cascade down the sides. What a gorgeous idea. Number 21, put a birdhouse on your box garden. You probably love not only your plants, but also your feathered friends. They're there to eat the pest off your flowers. So why not encourage them by giving them a little home of their own in your garden? Every box garden is a unique and beautiful ecosystem onto itself. Have a wonderful time designing yours. We hope you enjoyed these ideas. Don't forget to like and subscribe.